Okay, so now let us try to find out areas of the shapes that are given below. So the assumption here is that that these shapes that we have here A, B, C, D and E they are already placed on a grid which is 1 cm by 1 cm on a square grid of 1 cm by 1 cm is an imaginary grid. Now if we want to have want to find out the area of figure A. Okay, so in this case we know that there are three squares this side and three squares downside so we can say that the area for this figure is nine square units or nine square centimeter or nine centimeter square okay I would just use units for the time being to be consistent now let us have a look at the figure B so in that in this case it is we have one two three four and five therefore the area in this case area of B equals five square units or five units squared now figure C so here we see a mix of half squares and full squares so I can clearly see that these two squares are full okay so area for C is area of C equals 2 times full squared plus how many half squares are there so we have 1 2 3 and 4 okay so we have 4 times half square units so when I simplify this I'm going to get 2 plus this goes by 2 so 2 plus 2 that gives us 4 square units now if I take the figure D area of figure D it's just a straightforward counting we have two here two columns which and then we have four rows as you can see here so area is two times four it is eight square units and then we want to find out the area of figure E. So in this case, again, we count the squares. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So area of figure E or area occupied by figure E is 10 square units. Now let us continue with some more examples. So in this case again we proceed to count the number of squares. So we have 1, 2 which are full squares. So we have 2 and then we want to add the half squares. So we have 1 half square, second, third and 4. So we have 4 half squares. So 4 multiplied by 1 by 2. And when we simplify this we get 2 plus 2 which is 4 square units. this is the area for figure F now if you have a look at a figure G so we start first looking at squares the full squares 1 2 3 and 4 so I have 4 full squares and how many half squares can I see here this is 1 this is second half square then I have a third half square over here and this is a fourth half square over here so it is again 4 times 1 by 2 or it is nothing but 4 plus 2 which gives us six square units then if we see this figure edge it is straightforward you can just count the number of squares as I am doing here and this gives me five square units for the next figure which is figure I I am just counting horizontally one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So this is 9 square units. Now let us have a look at an example where we may not have a very very regular or even straight line segments but which is the example L over here but before we do that just a little, little, little quickly have a look at these two examples. So 
we just find out for j figure j we have i can just see two full square units so i just write down two plus now if i want to go for the half so it is like one two three and four so we have four into one half squares or it is two plus two which gives us four square units now for the other figure that we have here we just need to count the squares so I'll just start horizontally 1 2 3 4 so we have 4 full squares and then if you see the half units we have 2 of these are half okay so we have 2 times 1 by 2 so which is nothing but 4 plus 1 which gives us 5 square units and now let us have a look at this which looks like a leaf now we should just remember the rules first we count the number of squares so the perfect squares which I can see is this one two and three okay so we can see three full squares three full squares now then we have a look at those squares which are more than half so this one is more than half this is also more than half this one here also looks to be more than half this one here it is also more than half okay so then these two are these two are like around half you can see again now this is an estimate so as long as you can give reasons for whatever you have done it should be fine so I can say this that these four are four are more than half more than half squares so we are taking them as a full square okay and now we see if there is anything less than half so this C part here we can ignore this this is also less than half let me just change the color to an orange so this we will be ignoring less than half yes this is half almost half this is also almost half and this is also half it's an estimate so I am saying that there are three half squares so now if I want to add all of these so we I have 3 plus 4 plus 3 times 1 by 2 which is nothing but 1.5 so we have 3 plus 4 plus 1.5 which gives us 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 1.5 equals 8.5 square units so these were some solved problems to find out area of regular and non-regular shapes. So see you soon with some more problems.